Hi, I'm Richard. I'm Margo. And this is week three of our Balboa Fundamentals class, Wednesday Night Hop, March 2016. Uh, tonight, we talked about another of the um, original dancers, Lolly Wise. Lolly Wise, yeah. And we, uh, we worked on, first worked on a hybrid basic, which combined the front half of an uphold, or sorry, the front half of a downhold basic with the back half of an uphold basic. Um, so the footwork for the leads is uh, five, six, seven, and step together, walk, and step, step, gather, step, step, together, walk, and step, step, gather, step. We combine that, put it together with partner, five, six, seven, and step together, walk, and step, step, gather, step, step, together, walk, and step, step, gather, step. Now the reason we taught this hybrid basic is because it's one of the foundations that's in a lot of bow swing moves. Um, because it helps with uh, building up some rotational momentum. Yep, so we used it tonight to build a, up to a come around. Yep, so the come around, we talked about the leader's footwork for this, and the idea here is that we do a, a preparation step on count two, and then unwind on count three. Five, six, seven, and step, prep, turn. And then we do the second half of basic step, step, gather, step, step, prep, turn, step, step, gather, step, step, prep, turn, step, step, gather, step. And from the back? We have a step, prep, turn, step, step, gather, and step, prep, turn, step, step, gather, step. So leads, make sure that you are stepping underneath yourself to do that cross. And then on the turn, we are um, bringing this foot around, unwind on it, and, and putting the, our left foot right next to our followers and moving through the space and taking the follower with us. So when we partnered up, we won't be able to turn as much once we have a partner as I was doing in the demonstration, where we were trying to get that extra rotational feel. So you have a step, prep, turn, step, step, gather, step, step, prep, turn, step, step, gather, step. Yep. Follows when we were split apart. One of the things that we worked on was the idea of making sure that our weight stays over the front of our foot so that we can lift our heel to pivot on the front half of our foot. And that's what makes these turns possible. Um, we want to make sure that we are not releving and going up on tiptoe to make this turn happen. Same but thing for leads. Don't but we also want to make sure that we are actually lifting our heel off the floor enough to disengage so that we can actually turn. If you try to plant your foot and turn, you're going to be more likely to injure your knees and your ankles. So make sure that you practice that a little bit at home, just lifting your heel and bringing your body around with you. And we talked about in this connection, making sure that we have that, that slight V connection always, and it makes this a lot easier. So in th on the, the turn, you're not reaching out around your partner, your feet aren't far apart. You can basically just step through the partnership. And from this direction, you can see that on that step, my foot is right next to my follower's foot so that we can share the same axis that we're turning around for that rotation. Yeah. So from our come around, we built on a little bit more and we started moving into some bow swing by opening out into our lolly kicks. And that looks like this. You have a step, prep, turn, step and kick, step, tap, step, kick, step, tap. So for the leads, we do this by building up that nice momentum on the turn and then allowing our follower to open up on the second half of it on the step, prep, and gathering through, swinging from the hip, kicking the inside foot through, and uh, for me, I bring my elbow through as well so that my follower rotates at the hip as well. Yep. Follows, we talked about allowing the lead to make some space. When we come through that rotation, we can relax our arm to come down our lead a little bit as opposed to trying to hang on to our original connection point. And leads, we're dropping our connection from up here in the middle of the back, kind of down to the middle of the back of the hip. Yep, and we also talked about the idea that we want to make sure that we're maintaining that pivoty feel on our standing foot as we come through so that we are actually rotating as opposed to stepping away from each other. Away, tapping in and away. We want to make sure that we are rotating the on foot our on standing the floor foot. Is rotating in both cases. Yep. And I actually use a little bit of rotation on my left foot when I'm moving back towards Richard as well. Yep. So do I. Except on the right foot. Um, and then we talked about um, instead of doing this in place, you can do it in place, but then uh, instead rotating around the follower. So we, we take that and we follow. We leave the follower as a post, and then we rotate around the follower in the lead position. 
this is a nice dynamic to it. Yeah. Um, we talked a little bit about the idea of this hand that's in front of us kind of being a position of compression and release as we rotate away from each other. So when we dance this move, we don't use that front arm for a lot of active leading, although other instructors have different preferences. Some of them will lead a lot from the front, others will lead with a balance. Richard and I generally do this one with a lot of movement from the back side. And that's part of the reason that bringing that follower's connection down to the arm is very helpful. Mm -hmm. I, lead, I lead a lot with this move. I, I pivot with this elbow in order to um, help rotate my follower in this move. Yep. Um, some of the other versions that we did not do tonight that we recommend that you play with a little bit are the idea of lollies down the line. So if we come towards you and then turn... You can go backwards, that's a little bit harder. <laughs> and then the other version would be for the leads to stay in place and bring the follow around them. You can do a lot of these variations. Yeah. We didn't talk about them very much tonight. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun to play with, so go ahead and try it out. And we'll probably work on this in some class in the future too. For the exit, we talked about um, some maxi styling, um, which involves a, a cross lock and then an out and in back into the second half of a come around. So if we're doing these lolly steps. Sweep, step, tap, sweep, sweep, step, tap, tap step, cross, out, and in, step, step, gather, step. Leads basically to make this happen. You're just going to commit to stepping through on seven instead of doing a sweep step. Um, we want to make sure that that step is not a huge lunge out in front of our partnership, but more just say, I'm changing through. and we're done now. You're committing weight on seven and holding for eight mm -hmm. before doing the out together in and step, step, gather, step. So if we're in this kind of lunge position on seven, Seven, eight, one, two, three, come together, five, six, seven, eight. Back to your, your uphold basic. Yep. Um, there is a little bit of a pause on seven, eight as you move your weight through that foot into the transition into the out and in on one. Mm -hmm. um, and then for follows, we basically want to make sure that we're waiting for an indication from the lead of where that out and in is going to move to. So sometimes the lead will bring it straight back. Other times they'll bring it around in a circle. So it depends on what the lead calls for for that. Yeah. So uh, the other thing we talked about is as we're coming back together, since we have this mm -hmm. um, inward together momentum, we want to take it and turn it into a little bit of rotational momentum together. So as we, we do, we've got this cross, we do this out and rotate, step, step, gather, step. Take that linear momentum, turn it into rotational. Mm -hmm. Make it smoother. Yeah. Better. The alternative, which is a lot less pleasant, is an out and ba <laughs> which we don't like as much. It doesn't that. feel good. So make sure that that rotation on three happens. Come together and rotate. Yeah, it's kind of like spinning down. Okay. That was it for this week. We'll yeah. see you next week. Thank you.